Hello everyone! This is Ayam and welcome back to Ayam Vibes! Ang isang katanungan na madalas na itinatanong ng marami mga papasok na mag-aaral sa senior high school at ng kanilang mga magulang ay kung gaano kaiba ang curriculum ng senior high school sa dating curriculum ng high school. So sa video pong ito ay bibigyan po kita ng idea kung ano ang pag-aaralan ng mga mag-aaral sa senior high school sa sandaling magsimula sila sa senior high school life nila. You can use this video for reference. By the way po, tayo ay isa sa mga public senior high school teacher dito sa Quezon City. At tayo ay isa sa mga pioneer teachers na nagtuturo ng senior high school. By the way, ang mga subject ng senior high school ay binubuo ng tatlong uri ng subjects. We have the core subjects, contextualized subject, at specialized subjects. Pag sinabi pa natin core subjects, Ito pong mga subjects na ito ay kailangan or ito yung mga subjects na kung saan lahat ng senior high school students will study regardless of their chosen career track or learning stride. So, maaari itong itulad sa mga general education subjects na karaniwang kinukuha ng mga mag-aaral sa kolehiyo sa kanilang una or pangalawang taon sa college. Diba kasi technically, kung wala ang senior high school, ang mga mag-aaral ay first year or second year college na dito ba? So dito po sa core subjects, uh, minubuo po ito ng 18. 18 subjects na kung saan lahat ng senior high school, again regardless of the academic track or TVL track and strands na pinili nila ay kailangan nilang kuhain ang mga subjects na ito. So una, we have the oral communication. English at subject po yan. Reading and writing. Komunikasyon sa pananaliksik sa wika at kulturang Pilipino. Pagbasa at pagsuri ng iba't ibang teksto tungo sa pananaliksik. Okay? And then you have uh, 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world. And then contemporary Philippine arts from regions, media and information literacy. Gen Math, opo, may basic math po dito. Um, kaya kung sa tingin ninyo, um, nahirapan kayong mag-math, hindi po pwedeng iwasan ang math as subject or in fact, dalawa po ito. Meron din po tayong statistics and probability na kung saan prerequisite po siya sa research to subject. Meaning, hindi ka pwedeng mag-enroll ng research to kung hindi mo pa nakukuha ang statistics and probability. So, again po, ha? Core subjects po itong una po binatanggit sa inyo. Number 10, meron din po tayo Earth and Life Science. We have Physical Science, Personal Development, Understanding Culture, Society, and Politics, um, Introduction to the Philosophy of the Human Person, Physical Education and Health, apat po yung PE natin, PE 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, bawat semester ay meron po pa yung PE. And then Earth Science, or Earth and Life Science, and then we have um, Disaster Readiness and Risk Reduction, or Physical Science. Yun po yung 18 subjects, 18 core subjects that is a senior high school. Another set of senior high school subjects ay ang tinatawag natin Applied Subjects. Applied or pwede natin tawagin Contextualized Subjects. These subjects, um, all senior high school students will take. So, lahat din naman ng senior high school ay kukuha pa rin ng mga subjects na ito. However, contrary to core subjects, which are only meant to cover the most basic of concepts, itong applied or contextualized group of subjects are designed to focus on the specific application um, of certain subjects on the student's chosen career track or learning strand. Meaning, ang paraan ng pagkakaturo ng mga subjects na ito ay mas applied or mas contextualized base sa strand na meron ang isang estudyante. So, halimbawa, sa Filipino subject, um, let's say for example, ang Filipino sa piling larangan, 
um, kung ituturo ito in the field of art and design, iba yung kanyang atake kung ituturo ito sa sports or ituturo ito sa academic um, shrap. So, meron siyang slight difference, just like po yung research subject in the fields of humes ay iba rin siya um, ang contextual or ang, ang, ang contextualisasyon niya yes, ang konteksto ng pagkakaturo sa STEM o kaya sa TVL tracks. So, more or less, meron po tayong seven subjects na applied or contextualized subjects sa senior high school. So, una po, we have the English and academic and professional purposes. Second, you have the practical research one. Iba yung atake no research 1, even the practical research 2. Depende sa track and strand na meron ng isang estudyante. And then, yung minagit ko kanina kanimbawa, yung Filipino sa pinning larangan. Pwedeng academic, pwedeng sports, or technical. Then, we have empowerment technologies, or e-tech, entrepreneurship, okay, and lastly, we have the inquiries, investigation, and immersion, or yung pinatawag natin, research project. Ang, ang idea ng pagawa ng research project ay nakaangkla or nakabase sa kung anong strand meron kayo. So, halimbawa, yums ka, ang research title mo will focus about um, humanities and social sciences topics. So, halimbawa naman, kung PBL ka, like welding ang klase mo, um, hopefully, ang topic na pag-aaralan mo has something to do with welding classes or welding problems. And lastly, in the third set of subject ay ang tinatawag nating specialized subjects. More or less, mga 8 to 9 subjects po ito. When you say specialized subjects, these are subjects that are unique to the career track or learning strand that the student chose. Now, these are similar to major subjects that college takes off. No, although they are designed to be less complex than their college counterpart, dito na po magkakaroon ng pagkakaiba-iba ng subject ang bawat strands. So, dito na po kayo pipili. Dito kasi wala kayong choice talaga. No? So, dito na po kayo magde-decide. Matutulungan kayong mag-decide kung ito ba talaga ang mga subjects na gusto mong kuhain sa senior high school. Let's start with the ABM strand under academic track. So, sa ABM, meron po tayong nine specialized subjects. Applied Economics, Business Ethics and Responsibility, Fundamentals of Accountancy, Business and Management 1, Fundamentals of Accountancy, Business and Management 2, Business Math, Business Finance, Organization and Management, Principles of Marketing, and Your Work Immersion. So, syempre, magkakaiba-iba sila ng lugar or pamamaraan or content na ito po. Then, punta tayo sa Humanities and Social Sciences. Nine din po ang specialized subject dito sa UMS. Una ay creative writing or malikhaing pagsulat. So, isa yun sa mga characteristics na itinuturo sa UMS, di ba? Yung creativity in writing and creativity in speaking. Second, we have the introduction to the world religions and belief system, very social science, mga creative non-fiction, trends, networks, and critical thinking in the 21st century culture, Philippine politics and governance, community engagement, solidarity, and citizenship, disciplines and ideas in the social sciences, discipline and ideas in the applied social sciences, and lastly, mamimili kayo kung work immersion, research, or community activity po ang inyong gagawin. Depende po ito sa magiging teacher po nyo. Okay, para naman po sa STEM strand, there are 8 specialized subjects ang meron po kayo. Unang-una, we have, you have the pre-calculus, basic calculus, General Biology 1, General Biology 2, General Physics 1, General Physics 2, 
general chemistry one and two and then you have the work immersion capstone career advocacy community activity or research for the academic strand po or gas general academic strand medyo iba po yung kanilang mga subjects na kukuhain okay so makikita niyo po ang pinagkaiba ng gas ano po meron po silang tinatawag na selective or electives so, itong 9 na ito sa GAS, wala siyang specific na subject. But, ang title lang na ilalagay is Humanities 1, Humanities 2, Social Science 1, Applied Economics, Organization and Management, Disaster Readiness and Risk Reduction, Elective 1 from any track or strand, Elective 2 from any track or strand, and then the work immersion. Kung mapapansin po ninyo sa general academic strand, meron po silang freedom to select subjects from humanities or from um, STEM. Diba? Ang pinagkaiba lang dito, school must present or offer a range of subject from which the student can choose. Opo. And then, students dito have a little more freedom no po, sa pagdili ng mga subjects na kukuhain nila. Hindi katulad sa ibang um, strands na uh, nakalista na yung lahat ng mga subjects na i-enroll na lang nila. So, aside from having the option of uh, to choose um, two additional subjects from any learning strand, ang mga GAS students po have um, the option to personalize their new subject according to their likings. Okay, pwede silang mamili doon sa apat na specialized subject ng UMS. Pwede silang kumuha doon ng dalawa or mamili sila kung alin yung e-enroll nila. Okay? Yan. For the sports track po, meron din po silang siyang na specialized subject. So, safety and first aid, um, human movement, fundamentals and coaching, sports officiating and activity management, fitness, sports, and recreational leadership, um, psychosocial aspects of sports and exercise, fitness testing and basic exercise programming, practicum in campus, and in work immersion na off campus. So, kung interested po kayo sa sports track, ayun po yung mga subjects na unique sa ibang strand and track. Lastly po, we have the arts and design track. Pinuguo rin po ito ng more or less sampo. Mas marami po silang specialized subject. Okay, una, we have the creative industries, the arts and design appreciation and production. Um, second is creative industries 2 or the performing arts, the physical and personal development in the arts, the developing Filipino identity in the arts, integrating the elements and principles of organization in the arts, leadership and management in different arts fields, apprenticeship and exploration of different arts fields, which are media arts, visual arts, literary arts, dance, music, theater, work immersion, okay, performing arts, and lastly we have the exhibit for arts production. So, pwedeng media and visual arts or literary arts. So, in case naman po gusto po ninyo ng technical vocational livelihood track, um, kukuhain nyo pa rin ang mga core and specialized subject. Um, ang pinagkaiba na lang po ay itong core and applied subject and specialized subject lang po kayo magkakain. Para sa mga TVL track po, um, the same po sa mga academic track, nagkakaiba-iba po kayo dito sa ating specialized track. So, for TVL under home economic strand, meron po kayong sampung specialized subjects na kailangan po ninyong pag-aralan. Hairdressing, tailoring, caregiving, food and beverage services, bread and pastry production, housekeeping, tour guiding services, tourism promotion services, attractions and theme parks tourism, and handicrafts. So yung sampung iyon ay mamamaster po ninyo kapag under po kayo ng home economics. For the information and communication technology strand, ang specialized subject po ninyo ay tatlo. 
ubusin po ninyo ang natitirang oras po ninyo para sa mga specialized um, subject na ito katulad ng computer programming, medical transcription, and animation. Para po sa mga agri-fishery arts grant or agri-crop production, meron po kayong lima under the agri-crop. We have the horticulture, landscape installation and maintenance, organic agriculture production, pest management, rice machinery operation. And if you are willing to enroll under the animal production, actually kasi dalawa yun, di ba? Agri and fishery. In the animal production, you have the animal production too, artificial insemination, large ruminants, artificial insemination, swine, and then slaughtering. Then, for the fish production, the fish nursery operation, fish or shrimp grow out operation, fish port or wharf operation, and then the fish processing. For the industrial arts or strand, meron din po itong walo. So, we have the automotive servicing, refrigeration and air conditioning, consumer electronic servicing, electrical installation and maintenance, shielded metal arc welding, carpentry, plumbing, and tile setting. Sa pag-alam natin sa iba't ibang mga subjects, ay mas mafamiliarize natin or mas assist natin ang ating mga sarili. Alin ba sa mga subjects na ito ang kaya ko, kaya ko, at kaya kong ipasa na kailangan matapos ko ito and then um, mairaos ko sa senior high school life. Mahalaga yon kasi makakatulong ito sa'yo sa pagpili ng angkop na track and strands para sa'yo. I hope nakatulong ang video ito and if you think you do or it is, do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching!